What's good, baseball community? Welcome back to Arm Pitching Development. I'm Coach Jason, and amplify your mechanic and grow your pitching knowledge. You'll do this by hitting the subscribe button. Tonight, I've got a fire J-band routine that I give to my high school and college guys. Let's get it. Okay, the first one we're gonna get into is no money. So we're gonna open up with no money. So you come out here with the band, keep your elbows tucked in, and you're just gonna break the band, keeping your elbows in and engaging your shoulder blades. We're gonna do this all these for 12 reps. Once you get off of that, we're gonna go into some sword pulls. I'm only gonna engage my right arm here just for the sake of time. You're gonna come up, hold your non-dominant hand down by your hip. We're gonna come up, take the band upward manner here and extend, hitting your anterior and posterior shoulder as we drive up. Now remember, we're going into activation. This is not a cool down phase. So when we're activating, we wanna be more active. We wanna go quickly through the J-band routine because we're getting and preparing ourselves to get loose, to head into our throwing progressions or into a ball game. The next one we're gonna go into is shoulder breaks. So shoulder breaks, you're gonna hold the band out just outside the hip width. We're gonna rotate up and extend the shoulders back out. We're gonna loosen up the scapular and subscapular bone and muscles and shoulders as we go through this routine. The next one, we're gonna head over to the fence. As you get through those, and we're gonna do some elevated flosser. Okay, elevated flossers. Elevated flossers, you're gonna to wanna to have the cuff on here. If you don't have a cuff band, then just go ahead and hold the, the strap if you don't have a cuff. The other thing is you want this clip to be set up at shoulder height as best you can if you have that ability. I come out to a lunge position here. I'm gonna take my hands inward position, elevated elbows, and I'm gonna come out and floss my elbows as fast as possible here. Again, remember this is an engaging routine. This is a firing routine, so we're trying to go quickly. The next one we're gonna do is reverse this, and we're gonna go into uh, clip down a little bit, probably right around uh, chest height will be fine. And we're gonna floss from the uh, backside here. So we're gonna, again, we're gonna keep our elbows in and we're gonna floss down. Ten or twelve reps should be enough. Next, we're gonna go into is some lap pulls. We're gonna clip it again about chest height. We're gonna start out uh, open ended here. We're gonna keep our elbows inward and push in and engage our lats here. So now we're getting a little deeper stretch, a little deeper activation into our back. Once you get done with that one, we're gonna clip up just a little bit about shoulder height. We're gonna do internal, external rotation. Going just on the throwing hand, the throwing side here, and we're gonna engage forward, hitting the anterior shoulder. Again, run that about 10 or 12. Once you've got off that, we're gonna to flip to the opposite side and pull back on this band and get the posterior shoulder. Again, 10 or 12 reps in an actively quick manner. Flip down about chest height. We're going to go into reverse fly. Once we get off that, we're going to go into reverse Y. Reverse Y, we're going to clip down about waist height here. Step back to an engaging split stance and Y up. All right, we're gonna clip back up to chest height. We're gonna go reverse fly into upward prayer. Again, back into your split stance. Reverse fly, hands together, upward prayer. Back down, back into fly. Again, activating, so we're going quickly. From there, we're gonna go into O's, reverse O's. So these are bigger circles, and then O out. Okay, a couple more here. We're gonna go down to about our knee height on our clip. We're gonna go into some reverse snow skis. Keep your elbows inward here, good neutral posture, and pull back and engage the backside of your shoulder here, and be pretty quick about it. Try to fire the muscles, keep them engaged, and good 10 or 12 reps. Okay, this is our last one here. We're gonna clip it down a little bit, come out, and we're gonna do some floor uh, floor waxers, okay? So come out, 
Stride out, keep the hand out in front of you. We're gonna circle out quickly. And then we're gonna flip that, get on the back side, and then reverse that. By the time you get done with this routine, and you're gonna feel ready to go and ready to engage in your outing, your throwing progression, whatever you're doing for that day. And thank you guys so much for checking out the video today. I really appreciate that. Hey, for uh, more pitching tips, drills, exercises, and workouts, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for me. And also, if you like the content we shoot here, go ahead and give this a thumbs up. And until I shoot the next video, I look forward to seeing you next time.